Howdy y'all, welcome back to Turkey Meat Loaf Craft, um, Far on Scoop, and, uh, we got lots of, lots to go over today, um, uh, you can see a couple little changes there, uh, got a water source outside the house, cause I found I can have, I have some uses for some water, um, in the house anyways, let me show you what's going on in here, I'm sure you've seen all this kind of stuff, I did a little other decorating, um, but I got this stuff set up, and, uh, this this force engine, I swear, dude, this thing, this thing loves to crash servers. This thing is just all sorts of fun. As soon as I put it down, boom, just just crashes servers. Uh, I finally got a full, but for some reason, I think I need to put a sword in it. So I need to make a sword. Uh, maybe that's what we'll do. Just try to get a little bit of advance. Basically, I've been trying to do some dark craft stuff here, so get a little bit of advance going on this thing. Uh, I've got the tome. I haven't done anything. I got the nugget. Uh, I still need to, I'm guessing, put a sword in there. <clears throat> um, I got my experience going here. Uh, I got uh, the disenchanter and the auto enchanter, which runs on mob essence, which I've grabbed the tank because it was empty. Uh, I did, I did a couple enchants with it. Uh, let me let me show you. There's this one, which I got lucky. This was my first, just one level thirty enchant on this. Uh, so Soul Stealer Four. I'm not sure exactly what that's all about, but the Bane of Anthropos Four is not too bad. I don't know. I think I'll keep them. Uh, and then I did this one. It gave me efficiency five first, and then I put it back in and it took forever because it's like exponential like it takes so long to do one enchant at level 30 and then it takes like three times as long after that to do another enchant at level 30 so if i put this back in it could take it took like i had to come back i had to keep taking i was taking sixteen thousand millibuckets of of mob essence and you know like a whole tank one of these tankfuls dropping it in here was sucking it in and then it was like moving like a couple thousand like if you look at it it was like we'd suck it all in fill it up this would work up to like 2590 well the that's for just the first level 30 you put it in again for the second level 30 it goes to 10,000 work <clears throat> so it took like four like four or five refills of, of like of a whole tank of mob essence but thankfully I have an overabundance of mob essence due to the fact that I am running that mob spawner on power that doesn't rely on anything to refill it so it's basically free mob essence pumping in my system so uh, I also up updated my engines I've, I'm now running the uh, you can see them out there I'm running uh, not the magma engines anymore I stepped it up to the the resonant is that what they're called is that what they're called uh, dy dynamo, not drynamo, <laughs> dronamo, dyna, dynamos, reactant dynamo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now the reactant dynamo generates energy. Blah blah blah. Of course, fluid, fuel, and solid reactant. Now you could use. I my original plan was to use the redstone because I thought I had an abundance of it, but when I first hooked it up, it sucked up all the redstone and promptly, promptly, huh, ate it all. I don't know what happened, but it, uh, it took all my redstone and it all went bye-bye and I didn't have any to like counteract it, but I had a whole bunch of mob essence and it could also run on mob essence too. So it could also run on liquid glowstone and, uh, I believe sewage and one other thing what's the other thing uh sludge sewage and sludge i think but anyways uh so um i've been doing the the, the mob essence because i've been having a lot of them um i took a couple uh, chance off of something other things uh that were popping out of my uh mob spawner because i used that skeleton spawner in there because it uses very little mob essence to spawn the skeletons and they die pretty quickly so it's pretty pretty uh pretty efficient i don't know did i show you this on here i think i showed this to you already stuck a couple tanks on here so i can throw some redstone this thing is still running on the redstone um i need to switch it to uh, mob essence but it's a 
I don't use this system a lot, so it's not draining it a lot. But uh, and not to mention, yeah, I still got buckets of redstone in here. So again, not that concerned with it. But got another book on the bookshelf. I might need to make another book. Another bookshelf, I mean. Um, updated that. So yeah, so I got like haste and whatever. That's bunch of crap um i made this squeezer but for some reason it's, it says it's missing a recipe and i don't i looked all through nei for like a recipe quote unquote and i couldn't find one so i don't really know actually i need some of these i need some of these i need to make some more ingots so i'll take some of those with me but yeah um i switched back obviously to uh default texture pack the uh you know, the Sortex is nice. I like it. It's really nice. It's really clean. Everything's got a texture. It's really cool looking and all. But, uh, the default's just, uh, I don't know. There's something reminiscent about the default. Now, obviously, okay, look. You can see that there's a difference here. There used to be, uh, I used to, like, jut in here. And, and then, so I widened this because I think this is where I'm going to put the molecular uh, assembler. The big multi-block thing from ME. I think I'm going to sink it into the ground, so basically just the top shows, instead of making it the whole big stupid thing. But, uh, um, updated this little area, so I only have two tanks now, because I think I'm just going to stop using the, uh, the, uh, redstone, the liquid redstone, whatever it's called, and, uh, just stick with, uh, these two. Because I need these for Tesseracts. I need this, obviously, for the Force Engines. Uh, I, I really need to watch the back episodes. I, I added a couple more uh, 4Ks to it. Uh, I sunk this underground, so clean this area up so I don't have to hop over pipes anymore. Um, this is all nice and clean and, and cleaned up. And I got my reactant dynamos now running on Mob Essence. And blaze powder. You see, so it's constantly filling, which is cool because this thing, uh, this is still actually generating lava. So the only thing it's hooked up to is is the igneous extruder, just so I can make a, a what should we call it, obsidian. So this thing is actually still running. But the only problem is I need to go and set another mine down somewhere because uh, I mean yeah I got 125 stacks of cobblestone but that thing can go through pretty quick if I start making uh, obsidian so yeah so I had another barrel here for uh, my blaze powders um, I ran this for a little bit so I got a few stacks in there and I haven't ran the ender the enderman uh, spawner for a while but I'm gonna hop on down here and can't get down there because I'm big. Oh wait, you know what? I just sneak down through here and roop. Nope. Oh. Alright, so I got this setup going on here. So, oh Jesus. <laughs> Let's try that again. You can see uh I put the blaze spawner back in there because I needed some more uh blaze rods. Again, that's actually even more free mob essence because now I don't have to run the mob spawner that just spawns them in no power being used whatsoever by that mob spawner so yeah so this is pumping out blaze rods up there um, I had this also set it's disconnected right now but I had it set to drawing out the uh, I had a ton of arrows and whatnot so it was drawing out all the arrows and random things but a couple of random you know enchanted things that I could just pull things off of for the uh, enchanted books which I need, but uh, now that I have that enchanting system working in the mob essence, I can just uh, grab them out. I just can use regular books and just put level one enchants on it, and just you know, I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to worry about cycling through an enchanting table. But yeah, so got hooked up to a trash can and pull that crap out. This is obviously pulling out the mob essence. So you see down here, yeah, I got this whole thing again, and I am going to flip the switch. Blink and shut it off again and let it fill back up so back up here and we got full, oh, almost a full tank again but I am going to take this chunk 
and put that chunk down and go back to my uh, auto enchanter up here. Oop. Set this down. Thar. And look, sucks it all back in. See, but like, this is full, right? That was 4,000 millibuckets. That block that I just put down had 16,000 millibuckets in it. So that means there's like eight, no, there's 12,000 millibuckets where there's 12 buckets of mob essence in this little pipe right here that leads up into the side of this thing. So anyways, so if I, I need to build another Tesseract uh, so I can have, you know, multiple power sources going here. I, I need to build another two, actually. Uh, I could just build one, I guess, and put them all in the same frequency and have it be uh, running two mines at the same time, which would be a little crazy. Um, I'm going to take a drink. Hold on a second. Ah, delicious. And, uh, but uh, I don't know. That might be a little crazy. Might be a little crazy. Uh, so, yeah, so this thing, I'm using the liquid force, and I, I'm not bothering with the uh, throttle, but uh, we need to go back here and uh, make some uh, make some ingots. Make some ingots. Because I need to make a sword and put it in there and make sure that works. I want to make sure that works. Um, so, let's go with force. Oh, I have 213 already in the system. I guess I didn't really need them. Whatever. I'll throw those in there too. Uh, ingots. Ingots. There's several recipes, obviously, if you're not familiar with it. Not that recipe, nor that one. This one's. This one's. Should have went the other way. So iron will give me two. Gold will give me three. Dart will give me three. Bronze will give me two. Dart's pretty simple. Dart's just, you know. Steel will give me three. Steel I, I need to hold on to. What else? Yeah, so. The dart's pretty easy. It's just smelting iron. And apparently I have some. So we'll take a few of these. I know you have to make multiple uh, weapons. I also need some sticks. Do I have any wood in the system? Apparently not. Alright. We're going to go grab some wood. Now, what I also did was take a whole bunch of these things and stick them down here. And the cool thing is, is that they will grow right next to each other. So I have, literally have a block. <laughs> like it's just a block of trees here. I just run around and just place them down and they grow. They like don't even care. Oh, next to another thing? Don't care. So we're going to harvest these real quick. I basically used all the other stuff for uh, making uh, liquid force for that engine. So I don't have any logs. So we'll use this, make sticks, make some more liquid force. You don't need a lot of sticks. Now, I'm not that familiar with this process, this dark crap crap. I, uh, I, it's slightly confusing. I still don't know what's going on with that squeezer thing, but... You know, you can't learn unless you do it. I mean, I got a couple stacks. Yeah, I got a couple stacks. All right. We'll go ahead and plant some more of these. All right. <laughs> That's how I plant them. All right. Let's turn these into sticks. Stick me. Big boy. All right. So let's make sword and see if this works turn you on get you running all right cool so apparently it has to be a sword insufficient experience yeah okay 
Blah, blah, blah. Can I tell this to go? What's that mean in sufficient experience, though? What do I got to do to change this? Do I need an experienced home? What's a... Okay. There was this. I did this. Then there's this, this, this. Obviously, I know what that is. I know what that... That's sugar. That's a claw. That's a... What was this again? Force log. Okay. Well, let's try something different then. Let's try a force log. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing, though. That's the problem. Gonna apply these upgrades. Um, maybe you need a pick for that one. What uh? What uh? What was the other claw? Maybe it's a claw on the uh, sword. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. Uh, claw. I know I have some claws though. Yeah, I got a bunch. So I've just been kind of winging this mess with a little bit off camera, obviously, but I'm still not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. It keeps telling me I don't insufficient experience. So do I need to make an experience book first? Zero force points next year, 96. So maybe I need to make a, does it matter where I put it? No, apparently not. I just want to know how it works. I don't even like even care. <laughs> like I don't even care. I cannot apply these upgrades. Get out of play these upgrades. Get out of play these upgrades. All right. Um, there was a book. This book that tells you how to make this stuff. So vanilla books can be upgraded in the force fuse with experience upgrade to turn them into experienced homes. These homes can be able to store an infinite amount of experience with the experience upgrade. From you and store it in the tome. Well, right clicking will retrieve store experience. Shift right clicking and holding an experience tome will draw. Okay, so if I just I just need to stick an ex, uh, book in there then, huh? Come on, lag fest. There we go. Or there? No, there. Go. Not enough. Not the right kind of deal. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not. Sure. I don't know what I'm doing. I. I mean, I read the thing, and it says you just can't. That doesn't go anywhere. I know if you use the force rod on a book, it just turns it into one of those. Or like, uh, I think it just turns it into one of these things. Okay, well, yeah, I'll figure it out later. I don't really care about Darkcraft. Uh, it's really OP. You get flying and freezing and fire and all sorts of stuff all you know on your armor and weapons and everything and like I don't know whatever oh I took the book with me whoops <laughs> I'm suddenly up there put the book back put that in there put that in there this and this and this oh, well I'll keep those with me you can go in there you can go back. Uh, you can go in there. You can go in there. 
You can go in there. We'll take these logs. Do I have any room? I don't think I have any room. Yeah, that thing's maxed out. We'll put these back in the system. Close you. All right, what do we want to do next? Um, I need I need to set up. I need to finish building that uh enemy assembly. I got like the uh I got like half of it. Let's see, molecular, molecular, lar. Nothing's gonna pop up, huh? All right, so we'll just go with at app two piece not one what the okay don't know how that happened uh i need more of these i believe let's do this emmy emmy space all right there we go all right so i have 21 of those 24 of those i think i need emmy crafting cpu two of those I mean, interface is nice. I think I need 32 of these. There's one, two, three, four, five, six sides, four to a side, so that's 24. Okay, so I got enough of those. There's four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 12. So that's 24. And then there's two, four, six, no, two, four. So that's eight more, so 32. I need 32 of these. I do believe to make a four by four. So I will need one of these eventually though too. What is the other part? A crafting CPU, I know that, and then it's uh It's not a partition editor, it's a pattern provider? I think it's a pattern provider. Pattern encoder already have that makes the patterns and you put it into the pattern provider. So I definitely need some of those. Okay. I do believe it's a pattern provider. But I'm going to make more of these if I can. Power relay. Similar containment wall. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. That gives me 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32. That should be all I need. That really should be all I need. Need to bump that up to the next level. All right, let's, uh, you know, I'm going to look real quick. I'm pretty sure this is it because this, this recipe looks familiar. I'm pretty sure it's it, but I'm going to look online just to make sure I'm not making the wrong thing. Which I guess is kind of cheating, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to make the wrong thing. I'm already nubbed it up enough in this series. I don't want to nub it up any more than I already have. All right, I'll be right back. All right, we're back. Uh, after watching a very helpful tutorial, uh, I have, well, finished crafting the blocks I needed. Hopefully I didn't miscalculate. And I made several more interfaces. Uh, to help with the auto crafting and this is my pattern encoder uh, obviously I had one of those already and then uh, found one while mining that uh, castle uh, then I came over here and I built like I guess best way to describe it is I don't know like a, a cozy <laughs> uh, uh, like a cradle I guess uh, a nice little place for it to sit so we're gonna go ahead and build uh, we're gonna go ahead and build this and uh See what happens. So we're gonna go all the way around. Uh, I also learned that you can do a uh, three by three if you choose to. But uh, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But um, the more the more uh components you have on the inside the uh, more pages you get, the more room you have basically for uh, recipes, basically. All right, so that's my outer edge. I had the exact amount, so good. My calculations were correct. And then down here. 
All right. <clears throat> so we have uh, crafting CPUs. I got four of those. Yeah, and this uh. No nope. pattern providers. And the last step should be putting in these heat uh, vents. Um, this killed all of my resources. I am out of quartz. So after this, I need to put up a. Uh, I need to put a very adventurous um, mine going somewhere. All right, so this is the big moment. If I did this right, boom! Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Wow, this is this is a you have no idea a momentous occasion for me. Um, uh, you have no idea how oh, how how far I've come. Uh, I, I'd give a speech like somebody give me flowers or something because this is this is freaking phenomenal. This is something that uh, I I never thought I'd. I'd Manage and it's in the rain and it's it's also my civil care, but oh, this is a big day for me. This is a big day for me. All this technology, wow! I've come a long ways. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, I've come a long ways. All right, so uh, I guess what we need to do is um, wire this sucker up. So where's the nearest point? It's it's basically just got to connect to the network somewhere. So I guess I can go. That's water, so I can't go that way. Let's go uh, here, here. Can it go under here? Or, yeah. All right. Um. Yeah, that's yeah. I know that's water. I know that's water. Cause what I want to do is this. Oh, uh, uh, I want on the outside. Thank you. Uh, okay. Because now we can go through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can go through there. Here, here. On the outside, outside, outside. All right. So if I break this. Water should still be there. Yep, okay. Good. Good, good, good. Now if I can only get it back in the right spot. That hopefully won't kill the water. I really hope that didn't kill the water. Did that kill the water? That killed the water. <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess I gotta put the water back. I knew that was gonna kill the water. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, 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 there. Come on, please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh, really? Okay. Lame. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and wear this the hard way. Holy awkward, Batman. Alright. Screw it. Fuck it. Just, uh, there we go. Alright. We're wired. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright. That was bad. That was bad. Oh Jesus! All right, my pick is my pick is so freaking crazy with that efficiency five. All right, so there should still be water down there. I need to put water back there. Back there. Can't put a panel there. I technically don't need that then. Holy shit! Jesus! Jesus! Uh. Uh, I'm noobing it up all over the place here. And you.
Alright, so we should we should be all good with that. All good with that, right? What is it why is it trying to do that? Why you do that? Um there we go. Better than nothing, I guess. Alright, so we need to put the water back in there. Um let me see. Will this tell me? Yep, okay, so yep, it's got four of those, four of those. Cool. Alright. Sweet. So it's registering. Nice. Alright, so the next step, I guess, would be to wire this to uh, go straight to the system, which shouldn't be too bad. I just need an import coming straight off of this chest. That's my guess. And they have different imports, so I can specify what I want to go in there and what I don't want to go in there, right? Right? Am I correct in that? I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm effing psyched. I got this fucker built wow that took a lot of resources too and I got my interfaces so hopefully I am fully crafted now fully auto crafting just gotta make the patterns which between now and the next episode should take forever but uh either way uh, I'm, I'm psyched I'm super psyched you have no idea <laughs> you have no idea how cool this is for me all right um thanks for watching uh i got lots of work to do um i'll see y'all later later y'all